G'day guys, it's Ben from Catch Pro here. Um, today we're on site at um, Greenlee's Retirement Village. So this is at one of our main sites. We've got DJ here, he runs this site for me. Um, so this is one of our good sites at Greenscape Solutions. We're gonna do a 2021 uh, setup video today. And I know that the season is almost wrapping up, but it's been so crazy, we just couldn't get a chance to do it. Um, with all the rain that we've had in Brisbane, um, it seems like the season's never gonna end anyway. It's the endless summer. That's exactly right. <laughs> so um, come and take a quick look at um, first all of our rigs, and then um, we'll show you over some of the gear that we use. So even though we have a essentially a three-man team, we, we kind of are all set up as solo operators because DJ really lives on this site. He pretty much works here full time. Um, he still takes his trailer out and does independent jobs. Russell does a lot of the road jobs and I kind of just fly around between everyone. So this is my setup. You guys have seen this before. So in the back here, I've actually got a battery mower, push mower, and I don't do a ton of push mowing, but it's with my back injury, it's good for me to get this out. I do have another Honda petrol mower here that I use now. Lots of questions about this trailer. Um, essentially, so at the moment I've got uh, the Skag 48 here and I can accommodate up to a 61 inch stand on in here. And this is the setup that we really like because it allows me to carry a machine and then have green waste in the back when I'm going to jobs, picking up palm fronds, etc. So if we swing around here, so this is just a gate that comes down so I can get the mowers off. We've got the racking systems here, the multi-tools, etc. And if we swing around here, We swing around here. Usually this is for dedicated for green waste, but we've we've got a huge job to do, so I'm carrying both stand-ons today. Always keep it safe. And then over here, we just have, I only have a little bit of storage here for um, roundups, poisons, etc. And I've got a spray pack, blower rack, and I have this little rig here for just dry wraps and bags and stuff. Open hand tool rack. Hey mate. Good, thank you. So, all right, over to Rusty's rig. So Rusty does a lot more push mowing than what I do. So um, he has a push mower bucket here. And at the moment we've got the Bush Ranger pushy. Um, he can, he usually keeps this for green waste, but when he has to do ride on mowing jobs, he keeps, um, the Spartan is, is pretty much what he's using, the 54 Spartan. So he is able to put that in there. But similar similar gig, blower racks, we've got the sprayer racks, uh, the trimmer racks over the side. Um, we keep these on here so we can block off the rigs. So this is the three place trimmer rack, I've got the four, and he's only running really a uh, whipper snipper and a battery multi-tool and he's just got this in here for just for when we're doing bigger jobs. So we'll head over to the last rig. Okay, and so the, the final rig is DJ's rig. So this, is, um, this isn't a Greenscapes trailer, this is actually his trailer. Um, he, he works for me on site here, but he does do his own job, so he keeps his trailer around. We've got the 32V right in here, which gets used over this whole site. But DJ owns this machine as well, so he actually takes it out and does his um, own jobs with it whenever he can. So same gig, guys. You got the trimmer racks. Um, DJ, if you want to come down here for a sec. So you're running on these trimmer racks, you're running the battery still line as well. Yep, exactly. And so it allows him to use it. He's got the petrol still combi tool and the battery still uh, combi tool and allows him to switch out all the attachments. Yep. So you use the batteries and then if you run out, you've got this as backup. Yep, that's exactly right. And the battery is probably easier to run too. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then he's got some storage up here, like bags and stuff. Yep. Or 
Yeah, I'll keep it locked. Like, Shanks was obviously because people were around pinching and everything. So yeah, yeah. That's and why I've got the padlock there. Yep. And then just a push mower set up here for some of the. We don't do a lot of push mowing, do we? No, not at all. <laughs> it's mainly the skate work now. Yeah. Okay, folks. So we've had a look at the trailers setups. Now we've got all the gear off the rig here. Now this is stuff that we use every day in our business. Uh, my stuff that I generally use. So as you know from previous videos you'll see that we've got the bush ranger spartan uh, stand on test demo unit i've got my skag 48 here that's my unit and i still use that quite a bit so down here um, you can see all right we'll start with the shindewa backpack blower this is about 10 years old and it looks as rough as hell but still really performs it's been an excellent blower for me uh, doesn't get as much use these days as what it used to, but I still have it on the rig every day. We all have these battery unit uh, spray packs. They're just from Bunnings, guys. Um, but we have three of them. We've been really impressed with these. Mine probably looks the worst out of all of them. I um, I tried to set it up on my V-Ride when we were doing a big spray job and the exhaust uh, melted through the, <laughs> through the straps, but a uh, bit of tie wire, we got that sorted. Okay, so you'll see a lot of battery equipment here, guys. Now, I don't do tons of push mowing, so the uh, battery push mower really suits me good because, you know, it, it's only, a, you know, maybe one or two jobs per week and um, it's nice and light for me to handle uh, to pull out of the ute now what i have here guys is all bush ranger gear and i have a battery multi-tool that i really love using and i've got the attachments that i use but i do have a bush ranger petrol multi-tool with the attachments as well so that if I'm in a situation where I don't have enough batteries or I need, um, or if I think I'm gonna be doing a heavier style of work, um, I've got that petrol unit there that I can you know, put a hedger in or anything like that. So that's mostly the stuff that I use um, on my rig. So we do have another push mower here that just sort of lives out here on this site, just gets used every once in a while. but. This stuff here, this is DJ's stuff that he uses at our village. And we're running the uh, still battery lineup here. And the reason why we run this is because it's nice and quiet for the residents. It keeps all the fuel down and they have a rapid charger set up. So DJ, you've got like three batteries that you rotate in a typical day. Yep. Yep, and um, he can usually take one or two batteries with him to wherever he's working. If one runs out, it charges like 20 minutes on the rapid charger. About 20 to 40, 45, 45 depends. Yeah, so he could circulate those around. Now, as you know, guys, he's got the 32 V ride here. We've only had this since November and we've got almost 140 hours on it. So. This gets tons of use, hey DJ? Yeah, absolutely. It does uh, a lot of work around here. We're able to access like all the gated areas with it. Obviously he's got his catch bro so he can collect the grass. This has been a fantastic unit. Anyone that does gated properties of any sort should really take a look at this. Um, the still line, we, it, it's been good stuff. We're a little bit in two minds about this leash. That can be a little bit cumbersome, especially in the summertime when it's hot. But it's just part and parcel of, of what you have to do to use battery equipment. And I think realistically, uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. You wouldn't go back to petrol here, would you? No, not a chance. Yeah, not so, a chance at all. So we're really happy with all the battery units we've got. Now over here, this is Rusty's stuff. Uh, Rusty seems to have the most gear somehow. Um, so he has a... Bush Ranger uh, push mower, and the reason why he has this on his rig is because it's just too heavy for me to lift. I can operate it, but I can't lift this unit at all. It's too heavy for me. So we have an Ego hand blower, 
which has been really great. And once again, now you might be wondering what this is. This is actually a Bush Ranger uh, multi tool, but it is a uh, test unit, that's why it's multi colored. So he has all these different attachments he can plug into this. He has a Shindewa T260. That's that's pretty old now. This Shindewa it used to be mine. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it's probably five or six years old and still runs beautifully. We got the Bush Ranger Spartan here. Rusty would typically use this on any of our paddock days, but if he's doing some residential stuff or some other smaller work we can work it in and he'll jump on my 48 V ride because it's a little bit more compact and easier to maneuver in those tight areas. So we've got battery chainsaw, battery hand hedger. We've got some, um, these are the battery attachments. And once again, the spray pack. And we've got this beast back here, which is the Bush Ranger backpack lower. Originally, this was supposed to be my unit and Russell was supposed to have the older Shindewa, but when we first got it, uh, every time I went to my rig, it just wasn't there. And it's because Rusty just kept taking it from me. So I ended up just saying, okay, you do more work on the tools, you can take that. And I've got the old rig. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at how we run our business and the, the equipment that we use, um, the types of gear, the brands of gear, and just the whole general setup. and. Um, yeah, I mean, if this summer ever ends, I don't know. We might go all the way into next season, eh? Perfect, let's go. So we're supposed to be getting, you know, servicing done, and this is the time of the year we get ready for that, but we haven't had a chance yet. So anyway, thanks for joining me through this 2021 setup, and give it a like. Thanks, guys.